using a cloud-based system makes it a lot easier for us to use literally anywhere in the world. So even if we're on a day off, sometimes we'll make schedule changes. So it, it's very easy, interactive that way. Easy for employees, same, that they can they can log on, you know, at home and request a day off or a vacation day or change the schedule. So the, yeah, the cloud-based system is, makes it a lot easier. And for me, when I took over the schedule two years ago, you'd have to go to three different places to find out if there was overtime, if who was working the overtime, and if it was uh, filled or posted. And now we consolidate all that into the uh, daily roster and the in-time program. So we, it's a one-stop one -stop shop that we don't have to worry about looking after. Since we started using uh, in-time, we post in the uh, schedule, we send out an email and a text, and I might post 20 on a Thursday, and by Thursday night, those 20 shifts are already signed up for within 10, 15 minutes. In the past, it would take us a lot longer of printing out things on paper and manually trying to count things and doing a lot of manual work, whereas now electronic, once you're familiar with it, become adept with it, um, it's easy just to look at it and, and you can, you can make changes quickly. You could post entire groups of vacation or entire groups of day off or, or even changes to someone's schedule. If you change from one team to another, you know, what would take us a long time in the past, you could do within, you know, minutes. We have overlapping shifts. And before we started using the scheduling software, there were officers who were um, whose time wasn't tracked. So they would, let's say for instance, they're supposed to get off at 6.30, um, or sorry, start at 6.30 as a day shift officer, and a graveyard officer gets off at seven o'clock. Well, a gray ship, graveyard officer would hold over for a day shift officer because he was out, went out late one night, and so he would stay till nine o'clock. Well, he doesn't really start till seven o'clock. That day shift officer gets off at 6.30. There's a half an hour that's not accounted for there. Someone's paying for that half hour. So we, we looked at that and we found out it was happening more often than we thought. And so the city was actually losing money every time a graveyard officer held over for a day shift officer. So we implemented it and stopped the process. And it took about two or three months before the word got around that the graveyard can't hold over for a day shift any longer unless they use another benefit hours like comp time or vacation to cover that half hour. If you're looking for something that's a one-stop shop that you can integrate into your operation and not have to um, try to work with other programs, I think InTime is probably one of the best because you can use it for scheduling, you can use it for timekeeping, you can use it for reports, and it makes decision-making and scheduling easier.